Um, now this might make some of you sad, but some of you may try to argue against what I'm about to say. But let's not do that. You, we both know it's true. Your lives don't matter as much as Ukrainians, Your, Sudanese people. This is a message for Sudanese people. And when I say white people, I'm going to say white people, but that doesn't mean white skin or race. I'm talking to world leaders, not my white homies. Now, I've went into a period of sadness the past couple of days. When I've seen how the world decided to not care as much for Sudan. And then I realized it's not, I don't, I'm not mad at the world. But, and that really made me sad that to see that people only care when it's cool to care. Just like they only support a rapper when he's famous and it's cool to support him. Like, yeah, I see some of y'all, I've been rapping in front of y'all for years. I won't get a story share, but I'll see you story share NBA Youngboy. But it's, I get it, it's cool too. But I decided to stop complaining and then I got happy that they don't care. And here's why. First, let me start with the world leaders, the white people. White people, please, 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 please do not support no, none of these clowns. Not RSF, not BMF, don't support no one. Please, leave it alone. Okay, the only white people that I want to see in Sudan, UNICEF. I don't even know if I like the UN, but <laughs> aid, Blue Cross, Blue Crescent, Red, uh, Red Cross, but, you know, or tourists, come visit. You're welcome to visit. Come study these uh, pyramids we got, more than Egypt. Since they love to claim our history, in Egypt, come tell the truth for real. Tell them who is really the ancient Egyptians, who's the real descendant. I am. Shout out young Pharaoh, but I'm the real young Pharaoh. Hmm? History that was lost to Islam, an Islamic sword that came and pillaged and then told people to not talk about it. Come tell the truth. Now here's the truth, bro. Sudanese people. No one cares. This time, I don't care if you put a blue square on your Instagram or, or, or a red one. No one cares. And if they care, it's going to be fake. Pray for Ukraine. Man, you don't care. I knew, I knew people don't really care when I was really doing some mini activism and I would get attacked by so-called activists who didn't speak on any important topic but they somehow always had something to say to try to one-up me make me look some type of way man shut up because you only turn up when it's cool trending anyway In the future, I will cover our hidden history that predates Islam. With no offense to any, uh, but I'm going to speak. But until I do so, I want you to understand. Stop begging the West to care. They don't care. And if they care, you're in trouble if they care. So it's good that they don't care. I tried to say this in my... Sudan is full of cowards video, but I was too angry and just a lot. It was more emotion than if only if you watch to the end, you'd understand. But I'll say it here clearly without anger. Stop begging people in the West as if they're as if as if you're a dog and they're your pet owner. Oh, I need some food. <laughs> nah, bruh. It's embarrassing to even have UNICEF 
to even have the hungry kid with his ribs showing. Why? Do you understand? Are people built? I don't know if they built pyramids because there's new evidence that suggests it, it goes back pre-humanity. Maybe aliens. Who knows? But our people, their culture is being studied and claimed while you were brainwashed by the Islamic sword. You know, shout out to Arabia, the same Islamic sword that gave money to RSF, make it powerful enough to want to fight us. You know, shout out to Arabia. I love Arabia people and I love them, but I don't, I don't like governments. Y'all mafia. I used to support the war in Yemen because I've seen videos of the buildings with kids stuck between the thing, bleed into their, their, their airstrikes. When I try to show y'all, I get flagged on my, my Instagram. You're showing graphic. You're going to delete you. Hmm? Yeah, sure. It's graphic to see. How about you give me the graphic thing where they got to click to see? Why you got to delete me and strike me? Because here's the thing for my viewers. White, black, Sudanese, whatever. It may be graphic for you to see these scenes or maybe a head top or whatever. When I do show you a video on Instagram or whatever. Sure, I agree. It's graphic. No one wants to see that. Why'd you post, why'd you post a head top? No one. Hmm? Many people told me that, including friends, but I still showed it. Not because I'm a gore-obsessed guy. I'm not. But here's the thing. When you see me barking and losing my voice, I look stupid to a lot of y'all. You're like, look at him. Ha, ha, ha. But you don't understand. That's so, the stuff that's so graphic to see. Oh, man, you ruined my day. Yeah, I know. It's graphic for you to see on the phone. Sure, you don't want to see that. But you got the luxury to say that. You think these people want to see a sword hit their neck? Or whew, hit them in their home? It's graphic to see on a phone, but it's graphic to live it. I don't want to see it. Well, I don't want to see a rocket hit my people. You get it? I'm trying to be a voice of the voiceless. If I never told, a lot of people don't know to Warren Sudan. But here's my thing. Here's my thing. It's embarrassing. Given who Sudanese people are, and I'll teach them, but it's embarrassing. We have a lot of resources. All the gold they claim made uh, Hameti rich, where is it? Why didn't he build a road or two? Street lights. Have you been to Sudan? It's missing a lot of street lights. It's dark. And we're black, you know? I'm light skinned, but it's a lot of. It's black is beautiful. But when it's all dark, <laughs> I got a flashlight to see you. It's beautiful, but it can be. <laughs> now, when I called my people cowards, it's not because I tried to pass them a blunt and they said, nah, I don't. <laughs> nah, bruh. It's because Omar was president for 30 years. And these people that's trying to, I did a revolution, took Omar out. They gave you this little, uh, <laughs> what's it like, you know, like a play? You know, like a acting play. Romeo and Juliet. They did this little play in front of you. We're, we're arresting him. We're sending him to Geneva. Well, you're part of his 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 his, his thing, his ruling hand. Why are you still in power? And you need ten years to transition to a civilian government. Why? Ten years for what? You can't tell me. It's because, oh no, I tell you why. Ten years to rob your gold, and give you back an empty. Come on, man. 
And y'all cowards because it's been 30 years. Lots of people, including my auntie, you know, got grapes, have them graped, and they got, but they couldn't respond in, in real life. And the rest of the world don't really care. If they care, you're in trouble. Now, stop posting blue squares. And if you really want real change, shout out to white people, top and low. But if you beg them a little too hard, they're going to care, but they're going to care for the wrong reasons. You know why the situation in Ukraine been so media covered? Not because they love Ukraine, because of geopolitics to go at Russia, mainly that, but yeah, that's it. It's a beef and uh, not a wise one because even though they're all white, but I say Westerns, when white people got involved in the Ukraine issue, they could have been taken without any blood, but it dragged on too long. The sanctions on Russia were stupid because now it led to people, it was like a power flex, sanction him. Well, guess what? Now, because of such an action happening in a modern day and age where Bitcoin and other things exist, well, people started to think like, damn, bro, you got sanctioning him? Let's leave the dollar. Holy. So, Joey, you you accidentally, you fumbled the bag so hard, you've led the world to de-dollarize. And to the yuan? Not the yuan. I thought it'd be Bitcoin when, when, that, when that day ever happens, but yuan? Nah, bro, you, you fumbled hard, Joey. And you fumbled so hard, you caused Arabia and Iran to make peace. I never thought I'd see that day. Yeah, they made peace. Of course, media didn't cover it, but I'm, I still get media sources from Arabia. You know how many Iran diss songs I've heard? <laughs> how much proper anti-Iran propaganda? Like, I'll tell you like this. <laughs> In Arabia, if you're walking and you hit your toe on a table, right? You stub your toe. Ah! F Iran. Everything is blamed on Iran. If it rains too much, they say because the enemies of Arabia, like Juan and Iran, they prayed too much in the winter. They should have prayed in the summer only. Hmm? When a Saudi dude comes on YouTube like Ghana, and tell us truth, you're an agent for Iran. Bro, I've heard songs, I, tra- I got to translate them someday. He said, like, Iran, like they call him dirty, my juice, you fire worshiper, which is Zoroastrians or whatever, if you're into that religious study. Anyway, I never thought I'd see that day happen, but it happened. Because of Joey. Now, anyway, it's irrelevant. But the beef in Ukraine dragged out and kept sending money. See, that money wasn't going to feed the people. It was going for arms, right? Arms to fight a losing war with against Russia. The sanctions were good to make the oil companies come up, which, of course, they lobbied and paid good for campaigns and other stuff, you know. I don't know what I'm... I'm just the guy on YouTube. I'm lying. Do your own search. It dragged on. It's a lose-lose situation in Ukraine, but 
until we they accept that fact, they're going to keep sending money because they got a beef with Russia under the guise of pray for Ukraine. How about you pray for Ukraine? If you cared about them, you wouldn't be making them fight a losing war. Because if that war was in, in Florida borders, it would have had to end or give up quick without lives being lost. But I don't think Ukrainian lives, I don't think you care about them like that. The reason their president is defending it and liking this situation, let me tell you, these boys been buying yachts. Yachts. Like, as a rich man, I'm not rich, but to this day, like, I might buy a designer for music, whatever. But I tell it after, or like, a yacht? What do you need a yacht for? They bought luxury apartments, luxury cars. Pull up in that skr skr. What was the song? Corvette, Corvette. Hmm? Corruption is a thing in Ukraine. It's one of the most corrupt. They say it don't happen, but it happened. Who tells you it don't happen? People doing it. Yeah, we don't have corruptions. How'd you get that yacht? Corvette, Corvette? Hmm? Corvette, Corvette? Well, what about the war? Oh, ask the people who went there to be like, I'm going to Ukraine, man. It's only a real man. Ask, look, check them, check up on them. They got stuck. Yeah. They weren't buying y'all ammo. The bulletproof vest they gave you were fake. <laughs> they cut down on your costs. So like, yeah, we wrote down, we bought vests. They bought you the fake one. And took a lot of that money and bought himself a yacht. So he can go party with Andrew Tate. And just, <laughs> NPC, look at you, stupid. Oh, well, you thought it was about you? It was never about you. That's why he go on Vogue and be like, we need your help. Yeah, you want another yacht? Hmm? Or what is it? You want to, you got the, you want the Matt Slambos with Soldier Boy. <laughs> That's why it's dragged on. And the West has no problem pissing off Russia. As long as it's not happening in our in our backyard, it's happening in yours. So I'm glad they don't care about Sudan like that. The problem is Sudanese people believe the, the, the BS. And they're like, sleepy, help us. Bitcoin bad. Trump, yep, yeah, arrest him. But it had nothing to do with me. What? They're never going to help you. And if they help you, ask yourself why. When China came to help you, they, <laughs> they, <laughs> they loan sharked you. <laughs> and right now, instead of taking action, like I tried to say in the angry video. That's why I was so angry. How has someone become president for 30 years? Internet been around the last 10. Sure, now it's spying and you can't. But before that, could have easily, I don't know, something. 30 years? Campaigns of grape, S.A., Torture. Remind me about the glass bottle, because that's a torture mechanism. Oh, don't 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 start guessing what it's for. I'll tell you. Just remind me. And people will escape Sudan. Kind of like the chick example I used in the last video. Me and him. The chick want me and him. Me and him, we shook on it, and we was like, all right, bro. I don't want no threesome. I don't do that with at all. Nah, so I'm good. 
eventually the chick came and gave me her snap. And I guess she gave him hers. But if we fought, none of us would have had her. Anyway. So these people, if you want to see Tanks for real, repost things. I don't care how many stories or if you turn your page into an activism page. Those dictators going to put the strap to you and make you obey at the end of the day. And you're an NPC, you obey. But if you want to see chains, you got to do that. Sleepy won't do it for you. And if he did, because that's possible. Because RSF cool with Russia, I think, and Saudi, because they went to Yemen. And the other guy keep going over different places. Yeah, I'm cool with the West. Don't beg the West. You will regret it. UNICEF is cool. They're welcome. But if Sleepy and them come, it's going to be... I'm glad these people are broke and they got old guns and old planes. If the white man get in the mix, drones, Call of Duty, heat vision, Hale, leave them alone. Leave them out of this. Stay out of Sudan. I don't want to see y'all there. Tourists, you're welcome. Red Cross, UNICEF. Stop begging people and begging UNICEF. You're embarrassing. When I teach you, you'll know why about your history. Until then, I'm done. I've been doing videos all day. Hit like, smash, subscribe. See you in the next one. And share. Go ask the last. Please share. Bill C11.